Hello friends, my name is Haley Hunt and I'm with Nye House Education Center. If you aren't familiar with Nye House, our mission is literacy success for all. We are here to give you some strategies so that all kids continue to learn and grow. Today we'll talk about the importance of oral language. Language involves listening, speaking, reading, and writing, but the foundation of all written language is oral language. That means a child's listening and speaking skills will develop their reading and writing skills. Something that you can do with your children at home every day is to help them develop their oral language skills by expanding their knowledge of spoken language. Rich interactions between adults and children are one of the most important ways to help kids develop these skills. And these conversations can happen at any time of day in virtually any situation. Naming is a simple activity that you can do with your kids anytime. Naming is where you guide children to name as many things in a category as possible. It helps to have visuals. You can find pictures online or in books, but also use real objects you have around your house. For example, if you want to have a naming conversation with your kids about things in the kitchen, go to the kitchen, have a look around. You will guide the conversation by asking questions that start off broad, but become more narrow. You can help build oral language by giving them new vocabulary and ideas and helping them think in categories. As your children answer and you have a discussion, you can explain or expand on what they already know. There is no specific set of questions you must use. Feel free to go on a tangent and let the conversation flow naturally. The point is that your kids use oral language that they already have and you help expand what they don't know. The conversation about things in the kitchen might go something like this. What are some things we use in the kitchen? What in our kitchen requires electricity? What would we use if the power went out? What do we use to cook in the kitchen? What are the different types of pots and pans? We have a skillet, a saute pan, a stock pot, cast iron pan, a wok, a saucepan, a Dutch oven, a grill pan. Some are non-stick, some are cast iron, some are all clad. Some can go into the oven, but others must stay on the stovetop. What are the different containers we use? Glass baking dishes, cookie sheets, a pizza stone, muffin tins. And why do we call it tin? Mixing bowls, serving bowls, dishes, plates, serving plates. What different materials are these made out of? Do we use some for cooking and some for the kitchen table? What utensils do we use? We have flatware, that's what we call silverware, or forks, knives, and spoons that we use every day to eat. We have spatulas, slotted spoons, tongs, whisks, wooden spoons, ladles, potato mashers to help cook. What type of knives do we use? a butter knife, a steak knife, knives with serrated edges. Kitchen shears are like scissors. You could have a chef's knife, a paring knife, a cheese knife. What do we have in our junk drawer in our kitchen? A cheese grater, vegetable peeler, matches, scissors, chip clips, garlic press, citrus press, can opener, measuring spoon, measuring cups, meat thermometer. What do we use to clean the kitchen? What do we use to help keep our food fresh? What types of foods are in our pantry? What foods are non-perishable? What is shelf stable? What foods do we need to eat within a certain amount of time before they go stale? What types of foods are in our refrigerator? What are foods we eat for breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Or what can we eat at any time of day? What food in our pantry is healthy and what is unhealthy? What types of food have flour as an ingredient or sugar or salt? What meals can we make that include eggs, chicken, beef, beans? What foods do we have that we must cook before we eat? And what can we just eat straight out of the fridge or the pantry? What condiments do we have? Which condiments are sweet and which are savory? What herbs and spices do we have? What types of foods do we use garlic in? Salt, pepper, paprika. What produce do we have? What produce is a vegetable, a root vegetable, leafy greens? What are fruit or berries? What produce do we have that we don't, or what produce do we not have, but that you can get at the grocery store? Have we ever grown any produce at our house? What produce can you have that you can eat the skin and what can you not eat the skin on? What produce has seeds, what has roots, what has leaves? And the conversation can go on and on and on. You can have conversations like this about any topic. Some ideas include the backyard, school or the classroom, the garage, animals or pets, shapes, community helpers, colors, careers, health or the body, clothing, seasons and weather, a movie or book that you've enjoyed together, vehicles or transportation, the list just goes on and on. Check back here for more strategies and you can go to www.nighthouse.org to find out more about what we do or feel free to email us at info at if you have any questions. Take care everyone.